Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as the Papal Empire. Now where we left it off, we had just begun sending out our apostles to start converting the world. Now I'm going to be converting some of the cities along the way, even though they're not actually required for me to get my win condition, but I'm doing it because I want to, uh, I want to get the extra faith from my belief that gives me plus two faith from having um, foreign cities converted. Now we're going to get working on Seville. We have quite a few, but not only that, but they offer like buffer zones and they will passively spread my religion around. Um, at least that's the idea. I don't know if that's actually true, but I'm hoping that that's how that works. Um, I have an apostle over here somewhere. And we're going to get converting on Shanghai. Now I have allies with pretty much everyone. So I'm kind of pursuing a religious victory here at this point. So I want to chop here, get that bank sped up a little bit. I'm going to drop... Ooh, I could actually start dropping some monasteries in this city, which is an interesting idea that I am not opposed to. I think I would rather drop a monastery here on this tile. So I think I'll just put a mine here. Yeah, that seems reasonable because this is a crappy tile. And I, the only thing I can do with this is maybe build a forest on it later. But I don't have the ability to do that now. So I might just throw a monastery on it and get some value out of it in the short term. Okay, I've probably made a few mistakes in terms of like my optimal path to winning the game but i definitely i definitely i really super duper think that we're on the path to win here uh okay so we're ready to purchase some more apostles uh in particular i'm really worried about yerevan i'm hoping yerevan can hold off against this um and it looks like you might be able to without too much issue let's choose our production here in the i think workshop is a good idea here the extra little bit of production will help this city out when it, when we're going to be producing the um, uh, it has got away the people leaving our ways. Who am I to stop it? So China's going to be a little bit upset that I converted their religious city, but that that's like whatever, dude. I need to do this to win. We're also going to hit up um, Longxi, Chen, and Changsha. So this next turn, I'll be able to move those guys. I have another builder over here. I'm going to send you over there to build something there next turn. No, not next turn, sorry. Yeah, I need you to remove that improvement. I kind of messed up here. This was supposed to be chopped, which is, you know, it's a mistake. Okay, so now we have faith in this city. We're generating a little bit of faith. All the faith in the world will help us win the game, I think. So I also want to chop this to get this bank going. And then I'm probably going to put the holy site for the city right there next turn although i could probably it depends on where i'm going to get my maximum value drop that there uh you'll be chopping next turn next turn indeed i will do it i'm building an encampment here to defend myself against china because china is scary china it's the way <laughs> it's the way overlord trump says china china no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't make fun of him. He's not my. He's not my president. Although I didn't mean it like that, because I just I don't live there. Um, you know, as I I've said this before. No matter what you think of him, he's at least fun to make fun of. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna send this guy just out to here, and then I'm gonna go. Oh my god! I'm gonna reload the turn because that was some bullshit. The uh, the button to pick improvements to pick the. Um, Promotions, as I hovered over it, like jumped to the um, to the delete unit button. So I'm gonna reload that because that's like that's just a crippling misclick. Um, auto save. You can see all my old let's play saves. That was this turn. So we're gonna reload. I don't mind reloading for something like that where it's like a bug or a glitch or something or some just oddity of the game causes you to mess up or have an error. I generally don't like reloading if I it was my own mistake. Although I did do that in that one campaign. I think it was it the Congo campaign. I don't remember. I think it might have been the Congo campaign where I lost early and then I just reloaded like 10 turns earlier and said, all right, so we lost this game, but let's see if we can recover it, which I think is totally fine to do. But I think for stuff like this where... It was really just kind of the game's fault. Like I didn't do anything wrong. I was going to click on th a thing and then the game moved the button on me, you know? Uh, it looks like the game is crashing. So I'm gonna tell it to wait until the game responds. Um, and if nothing happens in 30 seconds, I will pause the recording 
Oh, no, there we go. Yep, like I thought. I thought it was just having trouble loading. Um, my hard drive is kind of bogged down. I'm actually getting in. I'm actually getting ready to do some computer upgrades. Mainly, I need to upgrade my hard drive because right now I have a one terabyte hard drive, and with like 600 gigabytes of video recordings on my computer right now, even when I'm clearing them out pretty regularly, um, I just need I need like a three terabyte hard drive, and then I also need like a. Um, I'm considering getting a five, 500 gig SSD as well as perhaps replacing my motherboard and processor. And I th think I might get a new graphics card. I'm pretty much considering building an entire new PC, to be honest. I think this one I have is pretty cool, but I have a little bit of money set aside to where I could do a computer upgrade, no problem. And I'm thinking getting, I think at minimum, like the minimum I would do would get a new graphics card and then get a three terabyte hard drive. I think that's like the minimum I would do. And I think actually that's what I might do. Anyway, okay, so we are done here. We've got the Papal Empire, Swiss Guard, Unique, Improvement, all that stuff, so let's go. So I think we reloaded a little bit earlier than maybe I had anticipated because we have all our money back. But I'm gonna purchase these two apostles Again, I'm going to choose production. What was I? What did I choose here? A workshop, right? Yes. So we had to reload a few turns, but it's like maybe one or two turns, I think it was, or maybe just like one turn. But there was no way I was just going to live with that that bullshit that happened. I'm going to do my best to repeat the movements I made um, as best I can. I think I'm rem remembering most of them. And then it was, who am I to stop it? I'm sorry. And then we were going to move there. So I think I repeated most of those moves. And then we'll just end turn. Oh, there might be another unit that needs orders. Oh, right. There was this farm over here as well. So I think I repeated pretty much the exact same turns that I made before I reloaded. Um, due to that error. So I'm going to see if I can try and recreate that bug that caused me to reload. Okay, so I had this guy selected, right? And this button is here on the UI. So I'll try and get this lined up. I'll line it up with the, the wheat tile. Uh, let me see if I can... Right, there we go. Right, it's lined up with the wheat tile. Then when I moved him over, it moved to where the delete button... Did you see that? Did you see that? And then I went to click on it, but it was the delete unit button now. So uh, I'm going to grab the religious, the Prosethalyzer. I think the Prosethalyzer is just the best offensive um, thing I'm going to send this one up north, and I'm going to grab Prosethalyzer as well. Then I'm going to, in Rome, purchase another two Apostles. I'm going to chop here. That should get these building quite quickly. I want to get as much faith as I can, actually. In fact, I want to work that faith. I want to work my things. At this point in the game, I think it's totally feasible to work the faith in my cities. If it's available. So I'm going to make sure every city that has a holy site has the um, faith enabled as a priority so that we can you know, we can make more more faith. Okay, I'm going to chop here. I was kind of got kind of screwed on the chops here in an annoying way. I just kind of have to live with it. But you know, it is what it is. I'm going to drop a monastery here and they should focus on working that. Which is good. Extra faith, lots of faith. I want a lot of faith to be able to purchase apostles at a regular interval. Um, I'm going to chop here and finish off that bank. This city still needs to grow a little bit. So I'm thinking... Um, thinking about how I could get more more housing in here. I think civil service would be the thing to get here, right? Is it civil service? Civil engineering? P can build farms on hills and stuff? Yeah, that might be what we do. Uh, in the meantime, why don't you just make me some builders? <laughs> like a good old boy. Uh, I'll send you up over to here. Next turn. Unit needs orders. Right, so we're in position now to spread my religion. Uh, if it's God will, I'm sorry, but it's just what has to happen. So these guys are my allies. Okay, it looks like I've lost 
Oh no, I'm still allied with Tomiris. Wait, that's up. Wait, what's up with that? Make a deal. Okay, we are allies, but they're like weird about it. How do you feel about trading? What if I were to take away the truffles? You want three gold per turn for this trade? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll 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 trade some amenities for amenities. Um, just having more amenities is always useful. So I'm gonna put you into alert in a Ravenna, and then I'm gonna go to the next turn. Friendship, yes. Stand united as friends. So the Inquisitor is attacking my Apostle. Uh, which means... Go, it might be time to unlock my government. And... Uh, stick in... The plus 5 religious unit combat strength instead of the builder thing. So I think, right, I think you can actually heal, as long as it's your religion, I think you can heal inside these things. I'm hoping that's how that works. So I want you to go over to Myriv. This guy, I want you to go to Toledo. Toledo, Toledo, Tomato. Hamanama, 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 Banaramama. I don't know, I'm just saying stuff at this point. Listen. Don't question me, okay? I am who I am, and there's nothing you can do about it. All right, I'm going to head over here, and then I'm going to pick up the Prosethalizer bonus again. Then I'm going to be dropping a mine here. So this city has a lot of production available to it, so I don't think it really needs much more. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, get that fish online, because it's going to give that city uh, that plus. That'll give it that just that little bit more room to grow. And it'll also give it more food. Um... So ideally here, I would pick up food. And Rome seems to be the place to pick that up. So I'll trade with Rome. Uh, yeah, I'm going to drop lumber mills. Chop here next turn. Oh, unit needs orders. Excellent. So Saladin's going to be, Salad Man's going to be a little bit upset with me. But uh, it has to happen, I'm afraid. So if it's God will, it must happen. Just gotta do some spreading. Gotta do some spreading. Here you wanna celebrate my rules. So he's he's actually still in a good mood with me. Um wow, they're really killing that. Killing that city there. So it looks like he healed at his holy site, but I did not heal. So I might need to pull you back. Get you healed. Then I'm going to drop a monastery here. Is this a hill? I think it is a hill. I could drop a mine. This city has plenty of production. I'm going to drop the monastery. I need the gold. Or the, the faith, sorry. And then I can use these as production tiles. Um, so let me see. Religious units. How does that make... There are three types of religion inquisitors if more than half the citizens to follow the religion is to follow the religion become predominant the religion is the pressure ten times solely converting the citizens of the mission is maybe prayer that my faith in any shrine down the religion with these prejudices and send hask having more charges removing your religion positive several unique actions inquisitor special never ends you need the lots inquisition faith finish with spread religion with several values okay Engage in theological combat. So I think I just need to get in, into combat here. Uh, so let's go to this apostle. I'm going to want you to follow up. So head over to Cairo. Uh, you need to fall back and heal. I wonder if you can heal there. We shall soon find out. Why don't you run over to Benevento? 
I think I will drop a mine here. I'll do that, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll do a holy side prayer here. I'll do a holy side prayer here and then that'll, uh, that'll give my dude something to do. So I have an apostle here. I think this apostle was heading over to my riv. No, that was this guy. So you're gonna, you're gonna just go to, uh, you're gonna go to my riv. Whoa. You're over there. Okay. Instead, you're gonna head on over to this guy, my cop. My cop? Whatever it's called. I want my trade routes to be productive, so go to Avignon. Okay. Then I want, yes, I want to chop here as well. Get this holy site finished, get that faith from that thing. Temple, mosque, go all the way. No stopping, no breaks. Don't ever stop. Uh, I am going to want to set up a city over here. I'm going to send the archer with him. Unit needs orders. Uh, I will spread here again. And then I'll go to... Uh, Medina. They're slowly killing Yerevan. That's kind of annoying for me. Um, ooh, he's fighting an apostle here as well. Why do you make it over to that thing and get healed? Why would you go that way? That was an interesting direction for you to go. You went like, Ugh! instead of just going straight to the, uh, to the holy site. Okay, so this builder has charges now. Okay, so we're going to drop some farms for the city to grow it. Um, but I want to have maximized my available monasteries. So here's a good spot. This is... Yep. And then I'm going to link these guys up. And slowly move them over. I'm just building a city here. 100% for just to build a holy site. That's all I'm doing. You need orders. Uh... So again, we're going to spread here. We've converted the city, and you're going to attack Chen. So I'm, I'm already. I think I'm, I'm. I think I'm already starting to eclipse everyone in terms of the religious victory. Uh, I don't quite have civilizations under my wing, but I think, I think I'm starting to snowball now in that front. Uh, you know what? I will drop a monastery here. Extra monasteries, extra faith, all that good stuff. It's going to improve me long term. It's going to get me towards my goal. I'm gonna go next turn, okay. All right, let's drop a fishing boat, nice. So I am gonna to wanna to lock that tile in because it's a really good tile that'll help the city grow. Uh, other than that, it can work whatever it feels like. Oh, why would you work this? This is a crap tile. I guess it's because I have faith. I guess that kind of makes sense based on what I told you to do. I'm gonna take faith off you. Get production. Next turn. China adopted the economic policy research. resource management. Good. Good for them. Knowledge of economic economics has improved. Let's see. Um, Rome. You just completed the bank. I don't think I need any more districts. When well, you do a holy site prayer now. I think I'm at that point where I just need as many apostles as I can get. And then we will spread. Okay, we're stealing as many cities as we can. Looking good. You can run over here. You can run and tell that, run and tell that. Sorry, I remember that song. What was that? It was uh, the climbing in your windows, snatching your people up. It was like one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Somebody like remixed that dude who was like, Upset that someone had broken into a house or something. I don't remember exactly what the story was, but it was something like that. And the remix, like the, the musical remix of how they spoke was just absolutely hilarious. Man, that's a really old, that's an old meme at this point. Okay, I'm going to spread again. Spray it.
Looks like we're uh, looks like we're we're doing damage to him in, on a religious front, which is exactly what we want to be doing. We're starting to uh, starting to win the battle. I need to get China out of the picture. If I can get China out of the picture, oh, I wait, aren't we allies? What the hell? We're allies, and I can't see your territory. Oh, okay. I guess ally. I guess alliances run out eventually. You've got a lot of units. Uh, okay. So th what am I gonna? I'm gonna think I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna send this apostle over to China. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let me. I gotta get Perceptalizer again because I think it's the most powerful one. I, I really do think it is because it's really, really, it's really, really strong. You go here and then spread religion. Like I converted four cities with a single apostle. That's crazy talk. Um, you get up here to Jean. You can see I'm starting to attack him attack his major population centers religiously. I could drop a... Um, oh, I wouldn't be able to... I think I'll just do the lumber mill here. I wouldn't be able to drop a monastery there. I'm just kind of improving tiles willy-nilly. Willy-nelly. Ah! P.O. Patai. Oop, I clicked off screen. Okay, yeah, I'm going to want to spread in Medina. Boom. I've got another apostle making his way in gonna be going to cairo next unit needs orders uh i want you to rest and repair attack madrid boom so we're starting to hit him up and starting to do damage real damage and then i'm gonna see if i can sneak up to barcelona and capture that one too next turn making absurd numbers of faith right now which is awesome Cities are starting to fall to my religion, which is exactly what we want. So he was the one who built Stonehenge. I think I knew that because of Catholicism. Somehow he managed to found it before I made Protestantism, which I mean is like the chronological order of how it should work. But I'm the, I'm the Pope and I didn't get to form Catholicism. You know, I was a bit upset about that, to be honest. Um, I'm going to have you kind of just snake your way over here and then you'll kind of pick up whatever cities are in the way. But I think I've mostly beaten China now religiously. Um, I actually, you know, I don't think I want to settle on the forest. I think I want to use the forest with chopping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much drop a holy site, like turn one here. And then I'm going to get a builder over here to do some chopping. Just chop out these forests and stuff like that. Um, or I could, or I could improve them. I guess that's a hard call to make, but why don't you get over here at least, and we'll make that decision when we make that decision. Alright, so... You're going to be heading over to this location. I need you to get my cop on my side next turn. I think I'm actually really close to winning. Um, honestly, I think I'm... I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm far off from winning the game. I really don't. I think, I, I think I've managed to manipulate things. I've managed to survive those aggression wars um, to the point now where I think I now have you underneath my wing. Yeah, I have Tamiris under my wing, which means I don't need to convert her anymore. Um, which means I can further attack China and really push back their religion. So Avignon... Um, 18 turns to grow is kind of unacceptable for me. So you're, I think you're just kind of just building builders, right? So that I just have like a surplus that I can send around the map. Because you don't really have anything else that you can do. Uh, yes. Gubio. So you have healed up now. I can send you in for the attack. On Seville again. Unit needs orders. Okay, you can't move anymore. Then, yes. Boom. So we've just done a huge hit to Cairo. We haven't we haven't got our religion entrenched, but we're doing damage to him. We might follow up that with some other stuff. Um, I might not need this extra apostle. I will send it, but I might not need it um, in reality. 
I think I think it's I think it's definitely possible that I don't need this um this apostle to beat China. Anyway, look, I'm going to say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me. Um, please remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you have anything you want to tell me. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much from the bottom of my heart. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.